As with any stone, it's wise to use a vacuum or a face mask while working on stones. And here I have an opal. I'm going to give you some of my tips and techniques on how you can save some time depending on the stone's attitude, as I call it. So, I'll be using in this segment the coarse diamond and microfinishing, the fine diamond microfinishing, the felt wheel, and actually I might even use the cerium oxide. So, let me show you exactly what I want to do in this segment. Just like I said, I'm going to be using the coarse. So, what I'm going to do is smooth down some of this rough and just pretty much scratch up everywhere else. Running this at medium speed. So as you can see, I ground this down and it's a dull finish. That's what the course does. So from the course, I'm going to go to the fine diamond abrasive. Now remember, if you need to wipe these down, they just easily wipe away. Running this again at medium speed. nice that is when you teeter-totter and again I like to give it a trim just to make sure there's no sharp corners because as the sharp corner is created it can easily fracture off now from the fine or don't forget you also have the very fine so either from either of these steps you can jump to the felt wheel with my polishing compound. Now it looks quite dull but you'll be surprised to see how this compound in the felt will bring things up to a polish and I always suggest trying the felt wheel on all your stones whether you're working on hard stones, agate, quartz, you just don't know um, you know the uh, the the, the structure of the stone. I call it the attitude it gives me, but honestly, you just don't know. So it's wise to try and save yourself some time if it works. So apply compound liberally, hold it directly up against the wheel, and see what happens. Now remember at this stage you don't need to use any water. Felt does not like water. And what this did is it removed all the scratch marks. However, it didn't leave a final wet, wet, wet look polish. That's why I suggested using the cerium oxide. And the cerium is going to provide that beautiful high polish luster Running it at slow again, with water, watch what this will do. Make sure you have nice ample water. Cerium loves water. And you're going to see that white come off the cerium. That's nice. Because that's the cerium doing its magic. And you can hold the cerium there as long as you want, because all it's going to do is just provide a higher polish. So I'm going to give it one more. Oh, I could see the difference right now. I hope you guys can see it too. So just one more zhuzh and I'm done. So like, this is my rhythm. A nice, smooth, like this, uh, one lady told me once, it's like a rocking chair. You just rock it back and forth. And look at the beautiful high wet polish look I'm able to achieve. And yes, you heard it. That was only four steps.